Okay, let's open the band. So I'm gonna uh, try and get it onto its wheels and that way I can set it up and move it around whatever I want. Um, now the band saw, um, not Axminster, it's Jet. It came from Axminster, um, but it's Jet. It's the JWBS 18Q. So it's a fully industrial machine and it's got an 18 inch slot. Um, so it's, it's a kind of a beast of a machine. Anyway, let's get it opened up and see how easy I'm going to get it onto that set of wheels. I don't think the word easy. I thought I had a lot of space. you're going to want to manoeuvre it around. So, they do these bases. Now, um, Jet do one custom made for it. Um, which, I don't know, I've not had one. So, I don't know exactly what it's like. But, it's quite expensive. This one, I got from Clark. Which was a third of the price. And will carry the weight. And it's every bit as good I'd say, in fact there's one thing I'd say was better on the jet one I noticed the only way to stop it moving was the front casters were lockable now I've got lots of um, benches around with lockable casters on and I don't find them that good they can squeak and move and uh, such this one it has these levers which actually lift the wheels up so that the machine comes up off of feet it's standing on feet Drop them down, it's back on feet, so it's solid on the ground. It's not going nowhere. So, huh, I got this one. Have a look around. This one, Clark's. Careful, unwrap it, and it's a little bit like inside. Right, well, no, just too heavy for one person. Um, I looked in the uh, help of my mate Gary, uh, he worked for me on Solway Plumbers. Um, good lad, he come in, helped us lift it up. So, it's on its wheels. Now, um, the wheel's good and solid, it's working well, I've manoeuvred it around, um, so it does work. Um, and this is probably where it's going to spend most of its life. Um, when I'm working big sheets on the saw table, I may want to just move it out the way, which is why I want it on wheels. Uh, far too heavy to be thinking about moving otherwise. So, I want to get started on assembling this now, just straight assemble, that's all. Um, starting off with the tabletop, the cast iron tabletop. Um, 
covered in a lot of uh, grease. So we'll start off with some white suet and just give that a good cleaning off uh, before we do anything else. I'm cleaning this off with white spirit and only white spirit would normally be nice but this is like treacle on here. Um, so a cabinet scraper, nice and said it's cast iron, you're not going to cause any damage with something like this. Don't use anything sharp or like chisels or anything. Cabinet scrapers are good. I mean, it'll shave varnish, so that's what they're designed for. I'll get all that off and then wipe it over with the white spirit until it's clean. Um, we use a, a wax, machine wax, on them afterwards. Um, which you should buy. If you've got cast iron tops, uh, it's a must you need to protect them. But it seems this is what we're doing in the factory for a long term. Okay, so that's enough. And um, it's got a protector over the centre disc there. I'll leave that on until I've cleaned with the spirit. then prone to rust. So you need to protect it again straight away. As soon as I've assembled this before I go home tonight I will put a coat of wax on there to get it protected so that the rust can't start eating into it straight away. Does it will. That needs some treatment on it as well.
now for the whipped paint assembly. Seems to have holding up. Measure off, you roll off, you'll hear if it's correct or not. Better than sight. So, that's it assembled. Um, now it's a case of take the book on, sit, study it, and come back tomorrow and calibrate everything. Get it all balanced up and a full understanding of what it does and what it should do, and if it does anything it shouldn't do, how to correct it. Um, and then, see what it's capable of, and start having some fun. Right, well, thanks for joining us, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.